What's up guys, Rex34 back with another epic video. What is this? Today's video we have a four card PSA return for epic cards. Three that we pulled on the channel. No, two that we pulled on the channel. I don't know, I can't remember. And then we're gonna open up one booster box of Rage of Raw. We haven't pulled the Ghost Rare Wing Dragon of Raw yet, so hopefully we can pull that. Then we're gonna show you guys these epic PSA cards. So before that, the giveaway. We're we'll giving away a Spell Ruler Black Illusion Ritual, Soul of Fire from Force of the Breaker, and First Edition Triblaze Accelerator from Force of the Breaker. There we go. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite PSA return card. It's going to be pretty awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see them. But let's open up this booster box. Here we go. Hopefully we can pull the Ghost Rare, Winged Dragon of Raw, or just the regular Winged Dragon of Raw. We haven't pulled that one yet either. So that would be cool. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull another Egyptian God Slime. We can drag it over raw. Oh, we missed part of it. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we can pull. We pulled pretty decent in our first few boxes, but we didn't pull the big boy. So we're, that's what we're going to try and do here. Okay, Mound of the Bound Creator. By the way, there's some really big cards in this PSA return. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. You might know one of them based on the title. Mechlord Assembly. Just depends. I don't know what I'm going to name this yet. Maybe if we pull Ghost Share Wing Dragon or Raw, it might not be about the PSA card. Either way, there's going to be something epic. All right, here we go. Genzo Lord. 36 packs per box in this set. You guys saw, if you saw the video the other day, make sure you check it out. Open three booster boxes, 36 packs, five cards per pack. Raw's Disciple. Some pretty epic cards in here, but we're still looking for the biggest card. The Ghost Rear Wing Dragon of Raw, which is still over $300 last time I checked. Reboot. Which is a pretty big card. I mean, it's only one every 12 boxes, unlike... The Starlights, which are one every 25, and then also there's usually more than one Starlight per set. Sun God Unification. So that makes them even rarer because then you have a chance of pulling a different one that you're not looking for. So when you go to like our main set and there's five Starlights, it's one in 120 boxes to get the one you want. Here it's only one in 12 boxes. So it is literally 10 times easier to pull the Winged Dragon of Raw. There's a White Aura Bahamut. So that's another reason that the price is like 300 bucks, which is a lot, but... It's not even close to something like 10,000 Dragon, which the reason 10,000 Dragon is so expensive is because a lot of people have been buying it like crazy to keep it up there. And not necessarily, it's only 1 in 50 for that one because there's only two in the set. There's that and Utopia. So it's about 1 in 50, even though it's a little bit more common than Utopia, according to ratios and stuff, it seems like Utopia is a little easier to pull or a little harder to pull. So really 10,000 Dragon is... It's a unique one. Mech Lord Emperor. But most prismatics are really tough to pull, so um Wing Dragon of Raw is actually a lot easier than a lot of those, which is kind of kind of weird. I've seen a lot of them pulled, like a lot of people pull them, because one in twelve is a lot, but I mean it's not easy to pull, but I mean it's gonna happen. Jinzo the Machine Menace. Ultra rare, that's one we want. I think it was like six, seven bucks, not too much, but definitely one of the coolest looking ones in my opinion. We got a Jinzo back there to support him. Here we go. Jinzo Jector. Raw's Disciple. Come on, Merrick. Can Merrick bring us the luck? Here we go. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe for the epic 20,000 subscriber opening coming up. And if you want to support the channel, use my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links below. I appreciate it, guys, if you do that. It's very helpful, and it allows me to get more cool stuff for the channel. And speaking of cool stuff, a package that was supposed to be here that had like a bunch of stuff in it for videos was delayed. So hopefully it will get here by Monday, and I can record a bunch of videos. But uh, it was supposed to be here today, and it's not, so hopefully I will be able to have some stuff to do for videos. We do have, still have some Rachel Raw, which is nice. And I haven't gotten my case of that yet either, so there's all kinds of stuff in the mail. I'm waiting on to open up. So yeah, there's some great videos coming up, but they're, you know, we're just waiting on the mail at this point, which kind of stinks. I hate having to do that, but 
you can't do anything about it. So I just got to keep waiting. But the videos are going to be fun, guys. It's going to be some fun stuff. I'm telling you. Some really fun stuff. You guys are going to love it. Blaze Cannon. Ultra Rare with the Winged Dragon of Raw. Blasting out fire. That's pretty cool. All right. We are halfway through this box. We pulled the Genzo. Blaze Cannon's pretty cool. But we haven't pulled Winged Dragon of Raw itself. So can we do it? Mound of the Bound Creator. There's just not very many rares in these Legendary Duelist sets. It just feels like you're always pulling the same cards. All right. Mech Lord, Mind Control. Come on. Give us the fire. Monster Reborn. Psychic Bounder. This card's super cheap. Like, I thought it'd be worth a little bit more. But I guess nobody's playing Genzo decks, really. I mean, because in the current thing with all the craziness, all the... You know, one turn and you're basically the game's over. So it's hard to use Jinzo, but still really cool to see it. Better for casual players than stuff, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> Just Skeleon. Every single box I've ever opened have ha has had this. Four boxes total, five of those pulled. So am I shocked to see that? No, not at all. All right. Can we get the Ghost Rare? No. Makiora the Destructor. My goodness, where is the Ghost Rare? Mind Control. Can we pull it? Can we do it? Law of the Cosmos, super rare. There we go, Law of the Cosmos. I feel like that's like a GX card. There was all that uh, Sartorius era where everything was about fate and chance and all that stuff, and it was like mystical, and that's just what that feels like. Reactor Slime. Oh my goodness. Can we pull it? Ghost Rare, Wing Dragon of Raw. Nope, we can't. Alright, I see how it is. Let me get lucky. Here we go, Monster Reborn. Mech Lord and Detection. Alright. We've got a Mech Lord army of... There's a lot of Mech Lord cards. There's another one. The True Name! We pulled this one a bunch too. Yeah, because they short printed some of the ultras. You pull some of them over and over. Like, obviously, we pulled, we pulled the true name four times. We pulled Triskelion five times. You know, it's just like every box has those in them. At least for me. Oh, there we go. Synchro Absorption. Pulled that guy a bunch as well. Super rare. All right, there are how many packs left? A few packs left. Five packs, maybe? Let's see if we can pull. The Winged Dragon itself. Nope. Alright. Come on. Here we go. Reboot. Give us some luck. Give us a final pull. A big pull. Come on. How about Gar uh, Guardian Slime? The Slime Guy. The big... What's he called? <laughs> Egyptian God Slime. Um... Wing Dragon of Raw alternate art. Wing Dragon of Raw Ghost Rare. Okay, one pack left, guys. If we pull in the last pack, that'd be pretty epic. Let's see if we can do it. Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw. Here we go. Last chance at the Ghost for this time. Mech Lord Assembly. All right, super rare. That's okay. Nothing too crazy in this box. Let's see what we did get. Before we get into the PSA cards. Uh, okay, we got some of that, some of that. I feel like we didn't get very many Ultras. Maybe we did. We just didn't get any good ones. <laughs> Here's the problem. Yeah, the best Ultra we got was the Jinzo. Outside of that, these are all... Well, he actually, he's actually not that bad. The Eskelion. It's like two bucks. I mean, two bucks is good if we compare to a lot of them. But yeah, we didn't do too great in this one. But that's okay. We will continue to search for the Winged Dragon. Hopefully, we will pull it soon. Now, let's get into these epic cards. We have four card submission. Some big cards here. Here we go. All right. We've got a Black Cluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, first edition. This is the one out of the collection we bought. It looks really nice to me. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. And we got a Mint 9. Just a Mint 9. I don't know why. Honestly, this card looks... Maybe the centering is slightly off. Like... It's a little bit larger up there, a little bit smaller down there. Is that maybe the only reason? 
Okay, let's focus in here. Honestly, I don't see anything else. What's the back look like? Looks pretty good there. So, not sure why that got a 9. That's kind of sad. Okay, come on, focus. All right. Next card. The Triple Tactics Talent Starlight. Focus in. This guy looks really good. Okay, the, cent the centering looks good. Back looks good. A mint nine. Another mint nine. Do you know why? I don't either. Why is this a mint nine? Look at it. The surface looks great. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a corner down here. Let's see. Nope, that corner is perfect. So is that one. So that one looks pretty good. Wait, is that damage right there? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure why this got a 9, but it did. I mean, it looks incredible. It looks really good. So I don't know what the deal with that one was. So we got two 9s. I don't know. I don't really know why. Next card. You guys know what it is. The DD Crow. Chelsea's favorite card. Yeah, you guys remember when we pulled this. DD Crow. I mean, centering looks maybe a tiny bit down right there. I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. Car looks pretty nice. Jim Mint 10. Check it out, guys. Jim Mint PSA. Perfect. Okay, not perfect. 10. On our DD Crow. First edition from Rise of the Duelist. That's pretty awesome. So we got a Jim Mint 10. That is incredible. Super excited about that card. I mean, it just looks really good. So we got two 9s and a 10. We have one card left. And here's a story about this one, guys. Yeah, 10,000 Dragon. Wait a second. I thought you already had a 10,000 Dragon and sold it. Yeah, I did. This one was at my local store. They had it up for more than retail, which was like 1600 something dollars. But I looked at it and I was like, okay, the centering's on it's good. I think centering's centering on it is good. I think it has a chance at a 10. Well, the back had, okay, look, first of all, this case looks like they scuffed it up, which is weird. Because I definitely didn't do that. Case looks scuffed up, which is kind of sad. But there was a spot on here somewhere. It was not a spot. It was like a... I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Let me see if I can show you guys. There's my face. Hi. You guys see this right here? That is on the card. That circle. That's a print. They printed a circle on there. I don't know why. So I was like, I hope they don't care about that. And, I mean, it's not damage or anything. It's just a weird circle that was on there. I was like, what the heck is up with that? So that was super weird, but I was like, surely they won't care. I really wish they hadn't done this. I wonder if this will come off. Um, so I sent it in because there's a guy who messaged me and he said, um, I'm looking for PSA 10, 10,000 Dragon. I was like, well, I already sold mine. So I don't have one. He had messaged me before that. And I saw this one. I was like, this one can maybe get a 10. So I was like, I'll risk it on it. I'll put 1,600 bucks, even though at the time the lowest on TCG player was 1,300 bucks. Like I'll put 1600 bucks. No, it was more than 1600 after tax. It was almost 1700 bucks. I'll just put it out there. I'll risk it. If it gets a nine, I pretty much wasted my time, probably lose money. So I was like, I'll put it out there, see if we can get the 10. And uh, send it express, obviously, with all these other ones. And we got a 10. Yes, we got the 10. So we got another 10, 10,000 dragon. Whew, I was relieved at first. I was a little bit nervous. I was like, I spent that much over retail to get this card. Just because the centering on it was perfect. I was like, this should be a 10, right? You know, you would think. Unless they're crazy for some reason. But the centering on it was perfect. You don't always see that on the 10,000 Dragon. I was like, I'll risk it. And it paid off. It paid off. So we did get the 10. Selling it to that guy who said he wanted it. Whew, so this was pretty nice to get. It was pretty awesome. 10,000 Dragon. We've graded two of them now. Pretty cool. So I got that one. And then, of course, we got the other Epic cards. This one I really wanted to get a 10 because I thought this would be cool to have in the collection. I might regrade the Black Luster because I don't know why this thing got a 9. I don't know why I got a 9. I don't know, really. I really don't know. It looks really good to me. So I might re wait, wait, wait. What's over here? What's over this? It looks fine. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. It looks good to me. Might regrade that one. Might grade the talents. They both looked good, to be honest. Uh, the DD Crow, not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. The guy, same guy said he would be interested in that card. So maybe if he gets this one, 
I'll sell them this one as well. I'm not sure yet. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Of course, you might you know, say I should keep them, but I and I really would like to. But anytime I sell something big like that, it just means more openings for the channel. So it's kind of like a, you know, I don't want to sell everything, but sometimes I gotta sell stuff so that I can buy cooler stuff so we can make videos. You know, that's just kind of what I have to do sometimes. And you guys always ask, how do you pay for these videos? Well, I have to do. I have to sell stuff. Like I can't keep everything. I can't keep all my cards. If I kept both ten thousand dragons, then I wouldn't have done a lot of the openings I've done recently. So. It helps me make more videos, and you guys like the video. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of talk about finance and stuff this time. Not finance, but just how I'm like paying for stuff and stuff like that. But I hope you did enjoy it. Rage of Raw, we haven't pulled the Ghost Rare yet, but I think we can do it soon. I hope, maybe. Hopefully we didn't get the case with no uh, ghosts. That would suck. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace. Yeah, you... Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>